It's been a long time coming, but I finally made it into the Million Point Club with the Hilton Honors Program. I really like how when you open the Hilton Honors app, it actually counts all the way up to your point total. So there we go, 1,051,981 points. And best of all, just because it took me a long time to get there does not mean it needs to take you a long time to get there. In fact, I'll be showing you 15 different ways to earn Hilton Honors points very quickly. That way you'll be able to reach that Million Point Club as well. And to all of y'all Hilton Point Points haters out there who are about to say, oh yeah, a million points, that's worth like $10, who cares? Hyatt points are way better. To all of you, I do say, I understand your perspective. Yes, Hyatt points are worth like three times more than Hilton points on average. But if you just open your eyes a little bit here, you'll be able to see how much faster and easier Hilton Honors points are to earn. Therefore, that really makes up for a lot of that difference. So with all that said, let's begin the video. Method number one to earn Hilton Honors points very quickly, this one should come as no surprise to all of you, which is Hilton credit card welcome offers aka sign up bonuses. Now here's the part a lot of people really aren't aware of. You can earn the welcome offer once on every Hilton Honors credit card. The little asterisk there for once means there are some exceptions every once in a while if you have like targeted no lifetime language offers, which I'll show it to you in just a moment here. Now this is huge because at the moment there are four different Hilton Honors credit cards and a few of them do have limited time offers as I record this video, but those come and go throughout the year. We've got the Hilton Honors card with a limited time offer to earn 70,000 points plus a free net reward after meeting the spend requirement. That one expires on July 19th, by the way. Also the Hilton Honors American Express Surpass card with a limited Limited time offer of 130,000 points and a free net reward that can be earned after meeting its spend requirements also ending on July 19th. The Hilton Honors American Express Aspire card with its current standard offer of 150,000 points that can be earned after meeting its spend requirements. And then finally, the Hilton Honors Business card with another limited time offer here, also 150,000 points and a free net reward after satisfying those spend requirements. This one also ends on July 19th. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and apply for all four of these cards on one day. In fact, Amex will likely deny you if you decide to do that. But if you were to get similar offers like these over time and you add all the points portions up together, the 70k, 130k, and two rounds of 150, that would be 500,000 points just from welcome offers alone, putting you at the halfway mark to 1 million points. And regarding those no lifetime language offers, what you want to do is check the offer and benefits terms link there on the landing page. And then when you see the offer terms, you do not want to see this language. You may not be eligible to receive a welcome offer if you have or have had this card or previous versions of this card or the Hilton Honors Amex Ascend card. We casually refer to that as the lifetime language because if you have or have had a certain card in the past and you can't get a bonus on it a second time, but if that language is absent from the terms, then you may be able to get a bonus a second time. Even if you had the card before, those offers for the NLL or no lifetime language offers tend to be targeted. You generally will not see them publicly available on Amex's website. Method number two, Hilton credit card upgrade offer offers, aka upgrade bonuses. Unlike the welcome offers that we just talked about when you're applying for a new card, you can get upgrade offers on a Hilton Honors credit card even if you've had it before. And by upgrading, I'm referring to moving from a lower fee, lower benefit card to a higher fee or higher benefit card. So for example, moving from the no fee Hilton Honors card up to the surpass or surpass up to Aspire. Here are a couple examples of targeted upgrade offers. The one on the left was for going up to the surpass card, and the one on the right was going up to the Aspire. Either way, you can earn 150,000 bonus points when upgrading and meeting the requirements. Now for a few pro tips. As we previously discussed, Amex generally does not allow you to get a welcome offer if you have or have had a certain card before. So if you upgrade to a Hilton card for the first time, you will then have that new card and cannot get a welcome offer on it in the future. Therefore, it's advised to get all the Hilton credit cards with their welcome offers first then pursue upgrade offers if you're targeted, because that way you can get both the welcome offers and the upgrade offers together. Also, be sure to keep all card accounts for at least one full year prior to upgrading or downgrading them. 
Then after one year, you can upgrade or downgrade for the first time, second time, etc., and potentially receive another upgrade bonus. That was a big part of my strategy over the years to get all of the cards individually with their bonuses. And then I could take, for example, the uh, Surpass here in the middle, downgrade it to the no-fee version. Then I might have two of the no-fee versions. That's okay. And then maybe I'll get targeted to upgrade one of them back to the Surpass or even back up to an Aspire. Then at one point, I also had two Aspire cards. I could then take one Aspire Aspire, downgrade it to uh, the mid-tier surpass, or downgrade it to a no-fee card, and again, hope that I would get targeted for another upgrade offer. You can kind of upgrade and downgrade uh, over, the, uh, over the years and see if Amex targets you via email or on your online dashboard, even under the Amex offers sections of your account to see if any sort of pop-up message comes up to play the upgrade merry-go-round. Do keep in mind, however, this only works for the personal versions of these cards. If you have the business card, this one cannot be upgraded or downgraded because there are no higher or lower tier cards on the business side. And you cannot go from business over to personal or personal over to business. Method number three, Hilton credit card spending. And what I'm referring to here is simply using your card for your everyday purchases, specifically for the categories that they have that earn more than the base offer. So all these cards earn a minimum of three points per dollar on the other purchases categories, but everything above that, for example, gas at US gas stations, groceries at US supermarkets, dining at US restaurants, and then of course at Hilton properties, all of those have elevated multipliers for their respective categories. And the fact that these are travel-based hotel credit cards with some great everyday at home categories to earn while you're not traveling is really awesome because that way you can save up for a big trip by buying things you normally buy anyway. Also, what you see here is a lot of color-coded categories that shows you where they have overlap between one uh, Hilton card and another. So for example, groceries are shown in green, car rentals are in red, gas in purple, etc. That way you can see uh, which cards you may want to use for your ongoing spend and which ones do not cover categories uh, that other ones may. Method number four, Hilton credit card referrals. This is a screenshot from my own dashboard from my Hilton Honors business credit card account. And you can see here where it says, refer friends, get rewarded. You can earn 20,000 Hilton Honors bonus points for each eligible referral up to 140,000 points per calendar year. And if you've got one or more Hilton credit cards, then you can also grab your own referral links from your dashboard and send those out to friends, family, co workers, neighbors, whoever it may be, do some networking around um, and then be able to earn Hilton points if they sign up through your link and get approved. They will get their welcome offer and you will get your referral offer. Method number five, Amex offers on Hilton credit cards. Here's another example from my account where I saw an offer for Brooks Running to get an additional 10 points per dollar on eligible spend on up to 10,000 points earned. Amex offers are kind of like digital coupons, so to speak, where you can view them on your main dashboard when you log in, see a bunch of different partner merchants that are working with Amex slash Hilton to make these offers to earn additional bonus points. And then all you do is add them to your card. And once they're added, they're then activated. So if I were to use this offer, I then go to brooksrunning.com, for example, and then buy one of their shoes. If I then pay for that purchase with the card that has the offer linked to it, in this case, my Hilton Honors business card, I'll then automatically get those bonus points on top of what I would normally earn with the card itself. Method number six, Hilton hotel stays, specifically referring to paid stays at their hotels. You can see here directly from Hilton's website in terms of how many points you'll earn from your stay, it does vary based on a couple different factors here. Members earn 10 base points per dollar spent or five points per dollar at True and Home2 brands, excluding Home2 in China, where that is also 10 base points. Also, of course, you have your tier status and other factors that we'll mention later in this video. In the world of hotel loyalty programs, a base point is what is earned just for being a member of their program. So if you go to Hilton.com, sign up for the Hilton Honors Program, you will then start to earn base points whenever you make a, a reservation through their website and include your Hilton Honors number on that reservation. You will earn these points independent of if you have their credit card or 
participate in a promotion or anything else. This is basically free to you for signing up for their program. And again, most of their brands are all 10 points per $1 spent, except for True and Home 2 brands where you'll earn half that or five base points per dollar. Now, if you're interested in adding an accelerator on top of your base points earnings, you'll want to consider looking at Hilton Honors Elite status and then getting into one of these tiers. Once you qualify for silver status requiring 10 or more nights stayed, you'll then earn a 20% bonus on all of your base points. Gold status earned after 40 nights will give you an 80% bonus on your base points, and diamond status after 60 nights stayed will give you a 100% bonus on those base points. In other words, doubling your base point earning rate. And in case you don't anticipate staying 10, 40, or 60 plus nights in a year just with Hilton, there's a great shortcut to all this as well, and that is of course with their lovely credit cards. Simply by having these cards open and in good standing will give you automatic elite status to some level. The Hilton Honors card gives you automatic silver, both the Hilton Honors Surpass and Hilton Honors Business give you automatic gold, and the Hilton Honors Aspire gives you automatic diamond. Let's check out method number eight, Hilton Honors Promotions. Here are a couple screenshots of recent promotions that Hilton has or is currently running. The first one on the left is called Double Up and Explore, allowing you to enjoy double points on every stay, plus 1,000 bonus points each time you stay with a different brand within the Hilton portfolio. And the second one here on the right called Resort to More Points allows you to earn 4,000 points on all of your resort stays and then also 2,000 points on all other non-resort stays. All right, let's make a deal. You keep watching the rest of this video and I will show you something completely epic. That sound good? I thought so. I'm now going to show you what's actually possible with a real example from a trip that I took of what happens when you combine a promotion with elite status, with base points, and paying with a credit card all wrapped up together. This is unbelievable, so check this out. A little over a month ago, I stayed at the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina and earned over 64,000 points. And that doesn't even account for the points earned using my Hilton credit card. So let's explore these 64,000 first. Here's the breakdown. I did did this paid stay during the double up and explore promotion. So first of all, I earned 1000 points for staying at one of the Hilton brands. Number two, as part of the promotion, it was also to earn double base points. So that was 22,522 there. Then as a gold elite member earning an additional 80% boost off of the base points, that was an additional 18,018 points. And finally, the base points themselves, those accounted for 22,520. Adding those up, that's how we reach the total of 64,062. And it gets better. Here's a portion of my receipt, or folio as they call it, upon checkout showing some of my charges here. All in, it was $2,522.93. I charged that amount to my Hilton Honors credit card to earn 12 points per dollar, therefore earning an additional 30,276 points. And for the all-in total, we had the hotel cost of $25,22.93, and then the points earned for all of the different breakdown uh, areas here. The base points at 10 points per dollar, elite status for the 80% bonus, the credit card earning 12x, and two parts of the promotion, all in totaling 94,338 points. Oh yeah. And averaging Hilton points around a half a cent per point, if we take the total of 94,338 and uh, multiply that by 0.5 equals, divided by 100, we have a cash value of roughly $471.69. So I paid about 2,500 and walked away with almost 500 bucks in value to use toward a future stay. Dividing this by what I spent of 25, 22, 93, and then multiplying by 100 there, that was an 18, almost 19% return. Let's move on to method number nine, transfer Amex points. That is converting membership rewards points into Hilton Honors points. Hilton Honors is a current transfer partner of American Express. You can see there for every 1,000 Amex points you have, it will be converted into 2,000 Hilton Honors points when you initiate this conversion or transfer from your Amex account. And even if it sounds like a good deal to start with 1,000 points and end up with 2,000 points, you've doubled your quantity, that is not necessarily you have more value overall. 
I would only do this type of transfer if you've already worked the math to make sure the redemption is in your favor. To understand what I'm talking about, this goes into the rules and the thought process of transfer partners in general. Check out this other video I did dedicated to this type of topic. Moving right along to method number 10, this is going to be car rentals, specifically with Alamo, Enterprise, and National. By going to the link that appears right there on the screen, you'll be able to see that Hilton Honors members can earn up to 5,000 points and save on qualifying car rentals with those partner companies. Also, the base offer is to earn 500 points uh, per uh, rental that you do. There's also a bonus offer running right now through the end of 2023 to earn additional points beyond that. And of course, promotions can also vary from one year to the next. Now looking over to method number 11, that is Lyft rides. Hilton and Lyft do have a partnership where once you link your Hilton Honors and Lyft accounts together, you'll be able to earn three points per $1 spent on Lyft rides for economy, luxury, and extra seat type of rides, or two points per $1 spent on shared Lyft rides. The link to do so is right there on the bottom of the screen. And once you've gone through the process to link your accounts, you also want to confirm that uh, Hilton is basically your default partner going forward to make sure that it's going to work. So here's some screenshots of the flow from my Lyft account. You go to the main menu and go to the rewards section, then go over to where it says change partner on that middle screenshot there. And then from there, you can see that I have actually four linked partnerships, all of which uh, work with Lyft. So there's Delta, Hilton, Alaska, and Built. So you can choose Hilton right there, tap on continue to lock it in. Getting closer to the end here, we have a pretty unique type of partnership where you can convert points from Amtrak or Virgin Atlantic to Hilton Honors points. Once you go to this page and log into your Hilton Honors account, you'll be able to then see some more info. And of course, choosing the option for use miles to get points. And then you'll see the exchange rates there between all these different programs. And at the moment, you've got a call customer service to make this conversion actually happen. Method 13 is the Hilton Honors Dining Program, allowing you to earn bonus points at participating restaurants, bars, and clubs. Uh, there's also a promo right now to earn an additional 500 points just for signing up and meeting any qualifying criteria that they may have. So just go to this page, type in your email, and then get started. You'll then be able to search for the different establishments that participate around where you happen to be. And then when you link your credit card uh, on your profile with the dining program, and then use that same card at the participating merchant, you'll then be able to earn your bonus points in addition to what you'll earn with your credit card. And here's a screenshot of what the interface looks like for searching around, for example, New York here. And then you can go uh, through each one of these to, of course, get more info. And just by knowing where they are, you'll be able to determine where you can earn more points. Our second to last method is the Hilton Event Planner Program, allowing you to earn more points when you book things like meetings, conferences, celebrations, weddings, group travel, or any other special event at participating hotels. Currently, you can earn one point for every dollar spent on guest rooms, meeting rooms, and other qualifying events, up to $100,000 of uh, spend total of your bill. And they also have a promo, if I go back to the previous image here, uh, to earn triple points points on your next meeting or event. I believe that one ends on June 30th of 2023, but they might have a new promo that comes in uh, sometime after that. And for our final method here, number 15, we have the guest opinion rewards. Basically, once you sign up as a member, you're then invited to take surveys and then receive Hilton Honors bonus points in exchange for sharing your views, opinions, etc. on those surveys. And wrapping all this up to come full circle here, here are all 15 methods that we discussed through throughout today's video, all the way from getting those welcome offers on those Hilton credit cards down to taking those surveys. If you're wondering which ones I use personally to get to over a million points, here are the ones in yellow that served me personally bo uh, the most. But of course, you can do whichever ones fit best into your spending habits, your travel habits, and your lifestyle overall. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. That way you never miss an awesome credit card related video like this one. Also, check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten. To get $25 when you open a new SoFi checking and savings account, Account and deposit just $10 or more, plus an additional bonus and an insane APY after you set up direct deposit. And to view my site with some great credit cards.
card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value and some new ways to earn some Hilton points very quickly to fuel your next vacation. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and while you're waiting for it to be uploaded to this channel, always remember that you are great.